Hi, my name is Martin Tween, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars! Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... ERY26. Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the Unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. Oh. But don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck! We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. Long-term space travel is not for everyone. Side effects for long-term space travel are uncommon, but can include headache, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, dizziness, dysentery, chest pain, varicose veins, bloody stools, feeling of emptiness or hopelessness, osteoarthritis, hemorrhoid, diabetes, forgetfulness, gender confusion, spontaneous dental prolapse, mild discomfort, or death. If you notice any of these symptoms, please contact your kindred representative as soon as possible, and all efforts will be made to help and or rescue you. Note that current rescue times exceed six months. Welcome. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first, please log into the computer and fill out a teeny-weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. jobs is to continually assess your mental state, and as space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. My name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. And now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet.
RY-26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More than Nation of Rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. Ah, oh, yes. You've discovered Grob's hidden anti-nutritional value. To aid in your exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. Ah, Grob, the only food in this universe that tastes exactly like it sounds. surroundings. The camera will transmit data back to Kindred HQ, which will send you blueprints for... will copy you into its memory, delete your body, and then print a copy of it five feet away. Fuel tanks are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use Survey to orient yourself. The Javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. I am detecting a fortuitously fragile surface nearby. Please scan to confirm. These crystals look extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. So, looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. drugs, but good drugs. For healing, not fun. These aren't reeds. Puffer 
birds may not look it, but they're salty as hell. Aww, it's chilly. Plasma pistol. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. Every time you return to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. Go Superlicious Mega Morphological Food Base from Suckage Farms. The universe's number four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicier with Platinum Slurp Plus, Nutri Minerals, Power Booster Edge 20 million. Product, anatomically reconfigurable nano clusters simulate a virtually unlimited number of foods and beverages in your mouth and straight into your stomach for maximum satisfaction with exemplary convenience. With tastes, flavors, and textures like beef, chicken, corn, chocolate mousse, hard candy, chili bacon burger, sake, mayonnaise, chives, baked seed, Parmesan cheese, vanilla. A swirl, Bob John Donuts, Salisbury Snake, Pasta Paisano, Buffalo Banana Wings, Horse Biscuits, Pineapple Pizza Poppers, Lance Bleed, Poutine, Wonton Fecal Surprise, Cucumber Shit Water, Nose Broth, and literally trillions more! more. Now that's good flavor. Broth, the 100% artificial food replacement gel taking Earth by storm. Don't be a snob, eat with the mob. Replace your food with broth. Broth is considered a plus nine petrol cluster and is not cleared for non terrestrial territory. Do not under any circumstances be to Star Journal. See website for details. Do you see a large 
tower looming above you? I only ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. This fungazoid sports several spongy, porous pom-pom pods. This plant's berries are edible and slightly hallucinogenic. As with all edibles, take it slow. I have received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. Looks to be a plant that's anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. Yes. Effective? <laughs> you bet. These remains are a hell of a lot older than anything else we found on this planet. I'm detecting a nearby organic compound which may be useful on our exploration efforts. Please scan it. may allow me to tweak its impact on your biology, which would in turn allow you to be more attuned to the local climate. Long-term impacts are unknown, but ingestion is, of course, completely your decision. Adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved suitability to the chemical mix. I salute your continued embrace of adventure.
for meat. Charming. attempt the jump in front of you is beyond your current capabilities but fear not the cartographers have found a deposit of a rare fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for some basic jump thrusters please redirect your exploration efforts towards it <sighs> from the nearby tower at least 400 years ago.
intelligent life, but these structures... Why don't you scan this one? Looks like some sort of transport device. If you turn it back on, we can kill you here and make a clone of you at another one you've activated. Or, sorry, I'm supposed to say teleport. Before you jump in, Kindred says I need to read you a 400-page waiver absolving them of all responsibility. I speed ran it. shrubs, but lazier.
Is accurate to 99.1%. So as long as you don't die 49 more times, it's all good. This thing working? Sorry, buddy. Hey, hey, yeah, you. Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but, you know, communication across vast distances makes it impossible to do anything else. So, I hear you've arrived on ARY26, and I've, uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data, and I have to tell you, we have a few questions. <laughs> well, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed showed uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay. Uh, how did our scanners miss it? Who built it? I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity, after all. I need you to transmit this data directly to me. Okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now. Meat scraps, fat and gristle, finding its way to your trash? What a waste! Or even worse, the toilet? Disgusting! Put a smile on your face using your meat waste with Meat Buddy, the reconstituted cuddly companion from...
was seemingly designed to protect its contents from the ravages of time. previously unreachable locations with only minimal release of atmospheric pollutants.
Ambient temperature, 112 degrees. Vital signs, nominal. have latched onto a nearby host creature in order to survive. is possible. 
here. All of them involve explosives. That upgrade would be very useful indeed. I have sent a request to Kindred, but we have yet to locate the required resources on this planet. Stay tuned. A plump citrus fruit, favored by the frugivores of this planet.
bonus of your lovely new jetpack is that you can use it horizontally to dodge a creature such as this one, who might seem a little aggressive. A mind is a terrible thing to waste.
to kill. Bad news is you're harder to kill because most of your bones have been placed with rock-hard space tumors. Good news, potential partners dig tumors. Or so I hear.
like a boomerang and a koala made a baby. <laughs>
puffer bird. Good wrinkly.
upgrade if you want it. Superlicious mega morphological food base from Suckage Farms. The universe's number four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicy. Brought the alloy back. I will now be able to complete my repairs on the javelin, which will eventually allow you to leave this planet. Better still, this particular alloy seems to be capable of crafting many different upgrades. I have unlocked several new blueprints in your 3D printer. It's like Christmas over here. obstacles you will face. But the more data you provide to Kindred through your scanning tools, the more appropriate bloopers we'll be able to send you. On behalf of everyone at Kindred, both biological and autonomous, we wish you good luck. Photographers have identified a series of very unusual structures at the core of this planet. Now, as earlier data indicated a rogue planet, this now appears to be incorrect. This is a radical mission alter discovery, and while you must continue to catalog the planet, it requests that you pay extra attention to anything that appears unnatural or constructed. I have placed a marker at a point of particular interest to our scientists.
that crystal formation. If you had a grapple, it'd be a piece of this. Cake! Oh, my vocabulary database got scrambled in the, uh, no, I meant cake. It'd be a piece of cake.